I want us to look at how we can prepare ourselves in such a way that invites the Lord into our life. So when he does come, when he does draw near, we're ready. And the king went up to the house of the Lord and with him all the men of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem and the priests and the prophets and all the people, both small and great. And he read in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant that had been found in the house of the Lord. He realized, oh, this is who we are. This is our national identity. It's the only reason they exist. So if you want God to be welcomed into your life, elevate God's word in your life. Magnify God's word in your life. Just allow it to sink in, the humbling act. So when we elevate God's word, it's such an act of humility to say, God is supreme in my life. In Josiah's day, they had neglected God's word because it had sat dormant. It had been rejected for generations. In our day, it's, it's kind of the opposite. The word of God has become so common that oftentimes we, we take it for granted. The, the word of God, we have all these resources coming our way, flooding, flooding at us to the point that it kind of goes in one ear and out the other. In terms of it rocking us to our core, it rarely does that. Elevate God's word in your, in your mind. Elevate God's word in your life. And when God comes near, you'll be ready for the fire of God that, that, that pours out upon a people. You'll be ready because you'll see him rightly. Your heart will be rightly positioned in submission to the Lord. Men in the house, elevate God's word in your households. Elevate God's word in your coming and your going. Serve your family by saturating your family. Pour over your wife with the washing of the word, as uh, Ephesians tells us to do. Just immerse them constantly in the word of God. Read it at the dinner table. Read it in the living room. When you're walking down the road, talk about the word of God. He's that good. And if we revere it, we would talk about it in our coming and our going. 